Welcome back, movie lovers, and thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Do we have a treat for you today? Catherine Hepburn was born on May 12, 1907, in Hartford, Connecticut, to a progressive and affluent family. Her parents, Catherine Martha Houghton and Dr. Thomas Hepburn, encouraged their daughter to be very independent and confident from an early age. Catherine attended Bryn Mawr College. It's a private women's liberal arts college that was founded in 1885. Bryn Mawr College is best known for its rigorous academic programs and has a strong emphasis on women's education and empowerment. This is where she discovered her passion for acting. Her journey into the world of theatre began, setting the stage for a remarkable career. In 1932, Catherine made her Broadway debut in The Warrior's Husband, catching the eye of Hollywood scouts. Shortly after, she signed a contract with RKO Pictures and made her film debut opposite John Barrymore in A Bill of Divorcement. Catherine's career soared when she teamed up with Spencer Tracy, forming one of Hollywood's most iconic on-screen duos. Their first collaboration, Woman of the Year in 1942, marked the beginning of a legendary partnership that would span over 25 years. One of Catherine's most celebrated films was The Philadelphia Story, 1940, a classic romantic comedy where she starred alongside Cary Grant and James Stewart. Her performance earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. Over the course of her career, Catherine Hepburn received four Academy Awards, the most by any actor in history. Her unique blend of intelligence, wit and beauty left an enduring impact on Hollywood. Please like, share and ring the bell for notifications on new uploads. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Catherine experienced love and loss in her personal life. She was married once, to Ludlow Ogden Smith in 1928. Unfortunately, the marriage ended in divorce six years later. During the 1930s, Catherine also found herself in the company of the eccentric aviator and filmmaker Howard Hughes. Their relationship, though brief, added another chapter to the complex tapestry of Hepburn's personal life. Amidst the glamour and fame, Catherine shared a deep and complicated love affair with Spencer Tracy. The two first met on the set of Woman of the Year and their on-screen chemistry spilled over into their personal lives, enduring through the decades despite Tracy's existing marriage. As Hollywood evolved, Catherine continued to challenge societal norms, starring in groundbreaking films like Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967, addressing interracial marriage and earning her yet another Oscar. Another iconic film was Hepburn and Bogart in The African Queen, 1952, and not to mention her performance with John Wayne in Rooster Cogburn, 1973. Whatever part Catherine Hepburn played, she acted her heart out on screen and on stage and her cinematic achievements. Her fierce independence, unapologetic spirit, and commitment to authenticity paved the way for future generations of actors, leaving an everlasting imprint on the world of entertainment. As the curtains close on Catherine Hepburn's remarkable life, we are left with a legacy of courage, talent, and a timeless grace that will continue to inspire generations to come. Her indomitable spirit lives on in the hearts of movie lovers worldwide. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Leave your comments below whose story you would like to see. This is Lily signing off until next time and remember, stay Hollywood, stay glamorous.